I was up y'all was cracking was popping his D about to react to another video by Blackie Speaks. This is another documentary type bit it looks like. It's titled I Spice the Fall Off. Now I'm giving this title uh, <laughs> that uh, is going to be the next title of J. Cole's album. It's going to be called The Fall Off, right? When is this coming? Are we ever getting it, Jesus? Um, but yes, let's hear how I Spice has fallen off and what's happening with her. Let's watch. They're marketing her like this for a very specific reason. Her body is more popular Sexy. than her music. I just don't understand how people don't see it. Best new hip hop artist, I Spice. How long can they keep on shoving her down our throats? I ain't gonna lie to you, the best part of when she performs is the twerk. It seems yeah, like people are waking up and it looks <laughs> like the fall off is approaching. Now, I Spice, a name most people recognize. She's one of the most well-known young female rappers in the industry. Blew up over two years ago with the song Munch, which ended up catching a lot of people's attention during that time. A lot of that attention came in terms of love, hate, intrigue, and everything in between. That aside, one thing's for sure, she managed to capitalize on that wave and eventually kept on rising and rising. It seems like that rise has came to an end, however. I Spice's recent album sales being a sign of that. Isis Gaston, professionally known as I Spice, is a 24-year-old rapper born on January 1st, 2000 out of the Bronx, New York. She attended Sacred Heart High School in Yonkers and after graduating in 2018, enrolled at the State University of New York at Purchase, where she studied communications and at the same time, balanced playing volleyball. I Spice started making music while in college and stated okay. that she always had a passion for it and that's how she dabbled in it. Despite the time she spent making a lot of progress playing volleyball along with her studies, she eventually made the decision to drop out around her sophomore year. That led to her shouldering the responsibility so of She's like she had way more system. personality then. Am I true? Like she looks full of life. Why she looks so dead in the face and in the eyes now? Her sophomore year. That led to her shouldering the responsibility of being the eldest. Am I sister like nine day? It's not just her getting older. And she just gap. looks during her studies, she ended up meeting Ephraim Lewis Lopez Jr mostly known as Riot, a well-known producer behind the majority of her records. I Spice and Riot built a very close, tight-knit relationship, which later on transitioned into a producer and artist collaboration, a relationship that became a key component in her success and blow-up. Because not only was Ephraim a very talented and ambitious producer, he also had a lot of prior ties to the music industry, something that I Spice benefited from. The ties to the industry he had was through his father, DJ Enough, a DJ and radio personality born in Brooklyn, New York, who's been working at hip-hop radio station Hot 97 since 1998. The encounter with Riot later on led to I Spice releasing her debut song, Bully Freestyle, in March 2021. The song gained attention after a video of I Spice participating in a challenge called The Busset Challenge, went viral on Twitter. Sometime later that. after that, she dropped the song oh, Name of Love, which also gained attention, but this time on SoundCloud. On August 10, 2022, Ice Spice released her song Munch, distributed by World Star Hip Hop. The song quickly gained traction on social media, and Ice Spice was officially on the trajectory of blowing up, and that's exactly what eventually ended up happening. Ice Spice, in a span of a few weeks, became one of the most talked about new artists, all because of one song, but more specifically, one line from the song. You thought I was you? That nigga money. Millions of people use the sound bit in their TikTok videos, and she was getting posted all over the blogs. On top of that, her streams were going through the roof, and all around, she was receiving a lot of attention all at once. Even Drake co-signed her by sending her a DM on Instagram, which she posted online as promo for herself. On September 2022, around a month after her initial blow-up, Ice Spice signed a record deal with 10K Projects, which was under a bigger major label. Capitol Records. In the months following, I Spice capitalized on her relevancy as she was now backed up by the industry machine. At this point, she was really starting to take off. The hype on social media had built her up to a level where she had all the attention on her. However, yeah, she... since she climbed so fast in the industry, I Spice was still She's a very so much big. unknown face Working to the world. With Taylor Here we had this attractive, racially ambiguous looking light skinned woman who essentially blew up overnight in the music industry. So she had a big name, but who was the person behind the music? This is when streamer and YouTuber Kai Sinat comes into play because I Spice ended up doing an hour long stream with Kai Sinat. In the hook, I said, not only in the hook, I said, you give me dirt, because what did I do? Like, I'm not here to be with you. I'm not here to be with you. 
People could suddenly now put a personality to the face, which is an important part of the story because if people feel like they don't know you, it's gonna be very hard for you to pivot. Along with the song Munch Climbing, her name being in the spotlight, and people now having a sense of who she was, things were going fairly well for Ice Spice, especially considering the fact that she only had a handful of songs out, Munch being the only one people recognized. Ice Spice, before she went on Kai Sinat's stream, also did a performance at Rolling Loud, which was heavily in the focal point during her blow up. You can tell that she wasn't prepared for this moment, and on top of the narrative regarding her being an average rapper becoming stronger, people are now criticizing her stage presence, which is a critical aspect of being an artist. However, for Ice Spice, since she was such a new act who had rose to prominence so quickly, people eventually gave her a break. Later on, Ice Spice dropped two singles ahead of her EP. The first one being Bikini Bottom. The song had a somewhat catchy vibe to it. However, the very gimmick that people were drawn to was eventually the same thing that made people lose interest in it. One of the reasons why her breakout song Munch ended up catching virality was because of the line, you thought I was feeling you, that ninja munch. She somehow managed to capture that same exact essence on Bikini Bottom. The line, how can I lose if I'm already chose, became a viral moment along with the song. At this point, she had three records out that were catching heat, and while those were still bubbling, she was getting a lot of coverage, specifically within hip hop media. The biggest impact of the coverage relating to how fast she came up. People were wondering, how did she even come up this fast? That was a good question because after all, at point. this point, she was only a few months into her career. Somehow she's been getting all these cosigns from these big superstars out of nowhere and her face is being plastered all over the place. A few months later on January 6, 2023, she dropped the final single, In Her Mood, leading up to her EP, Like. The EP had not a lot of songs on it, six in total, Pretty minus the three she had already released. Despite that, the project ended up pushing 15,000 in first week sales, which wasn't bad for an artist who had blown up five months prior. It also debuted at number 13 on the top rap albums chart and at number 37 on the Billboard 200. The next few months after this is when she reached the peak of her career. Ice Spice linked up with UK artist Pink Pantherus for the song Boys A Liar 2. The song peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot 100, which up until this point was the biggest moment of her career. Now that was until the Barbie soundtrack for the Barbie movie. Ice Spice along with Nicki Minaj was featured on the Barbie soundtrack. That was a very big mainstream moment for her, which kept propelling her to the top. Shortly after that, a collaboration with Taylor Swift for the song Karma was announced. The record Rocking hit number two on the Billboard Hot 100, yeah. so this was her second top 10 entry within the span of a few months. At this point, I Spice had built up a significant amount of leverage in the music industry, and this was less than one year into her blow up. She got co-signed by some of the biggest stars in music, performed yeah. alongside them, jumped on songs with him, and built up a very big social media platform through the millions of dollars of marketing that was dumped into her brain. But it was at this point that things eventually started to take a turn for the worse. A turn that eventually took her from almost 40 million monthly listeners to 15 in the span of a single year. Oh, I Spice started shit. teasing a song called Fart, which was supposed to be the single to her next project, Y2K. After the snippet went viral on TikTok and social media, she ended up releasing it on January 2024. The song initially debuted at number 37. However, the week after that, it dropped down she to 52, then 17. 93, and after one month and 22 days of its release, the song officially left Billboard Hot 100. I Spice, at this point, didn't have any records on the charts. As she continued releasing a few more singles, up until the release of her Y2K debut album, I Spice hype had clearly died down at this point. Her music just wasn't performing as well, and the novelty factor of her brand was disappearing by the second. And then came her debut studio album, Y2K, the release that was supposed to be the most defining moment of her career. The album came out on July 26, 2024, with a mere length of only 10 songs and 23 minutes. The general public and her fans consider the album not good. I feel like Ice Spice lacks the oh capacity <laughs> and the ability to make a good record. Uh, Wait, really out of all these songs, let me see how many I like. Because it's really Spice short. The public and her fans consider the Wait, length of. I like Fat Butt. I like Osh. I like Popa. I like Bitch I'm Packing. I like Pony Sun. I like Did It First. I don't like BB Belt. I don't like this one. Okay, I don't like the last uh, four. But these first six? <laughs> I listen to them all. Of only 10 songs in 23 minutes, the general public and her fans consider the album 
not good. I mean, she's I feel not like a good rapper. Spice lacks but... the capacity and the ability to make a good record. Uh, really, to me, on the surface, it reads more like a lack of effort than anything. The album ended up doing twenty-eight thousand in first week sales, a number that would be considered not so bad for any other. She also a big shot. That's crazy. However, considering how much the industry was pushing her, the numbers were definitely underwhelming. Let's talk about some key reasons why this album underperformed. But most importantly of all, let's talk about why I Spice lost relevancy. First of all, the album rollout didn't come across as authentic. One of the focal this points of marketing so this album had nothing to do with the music itself, but it did have everything to do with things outside of it, like her supposed relationship mm -hmm. with UK Corny. rapper Central C. After coincidentally being spotted together in public around the same time she was ready to drop her album, it appeared as if they were allegedly dating, and they both kept the rumors alive and played into it. Come to find out, it was nothing but a ploy for a collab they were about to drop. The song was titled Did It First, and the entire concept Maybe. of this particular yeah. song was cheating. And let's be clear, a lot of the songs I like by her, it's because the production is so good. So, Riot, he doing his thing thing, all right? So to be honest, that's more so what I'm into. I'm into the production because yeah, she's not saying shit. She's not actually a good rapper. It's not like I'm listening to these songs and I'm like, hey, she ate that. Like it's, it's not giving that at all. But the, the beats are just, they're, they're just doing it for me, especially at the gym. I need, I need some good production at the gym. I need some shit to keep, to keep me going. Okay, and Riot Beats, they keep me going. <laughs> so the song Did it first, such a great, uh, between I Spice, such Central great production. C, and another famous social media star whose name is Madeline. She dated Central C in the past. And sometimes after Cinch ate her up on that song, though. I okay, Spice well. stated that they were strictly friends. This is when we get into the topic of gimmicks. The definition of the word is as follows. Something that is not serious or of real value that is used to attract people's attention or interest temporarily, <laughs> especially to make them buy something. A strategy we've seen a lot of rappers in a game use with the help of the corporations, i.e. the record labels. And it usually ends up in the artist becoming a has-been. The psychology behind why that happens, people simply become more attached to the temporary high of uncovering what the gimmick actually is, rather than getting emotionally invested in the artist. For I Spice, her brand has always been very superficial. One of the biggest reasons why she even blew up in the first place was, you guessed it, due to pretty privilege, a social phenomenon which acknowledges the societal advantage a person has by fitting into the beauty standards of their culture. I Spice is, after all, a racially ambiguous, attractive woman who's most importantly of all, light skin. Colorism is a huge factor that plays a critical part in the success of any female rapper. This is the same thing Cardi B benefited from. Being racially ambiguous simply makes you appear as more relatable to a bigger demographic of people. She had all those things playing towards her advantage. On top of having the nepotism aspect on her side, I Spice had every advantage in the book, which you can't fault her for capitalizing on, but it does explain why the general public views her as an attractive girl who one day decided to pick up a microphone and somehow surpassed the women in the industry who've been working at their craft for decades just to get ignored. The music industry is clearly not about talent. I Spice is a representation of that fact. She leveraged her looks in order to put herself in an elevated position, a position that's gonna be hard to maintain for the long haul. The core of what I Spice sells is sexuality and promiscuity, something that she knows and all the people backing her up also know. This is not a secret when it comes to her. At every single she's moment so possible, stiff. she's either seen <laughs> twerking or sticking out her tongue in a salacious way, which does constantly feed into her brand. This is what keeps her popular because as a female rapper in this generation, unless you're selling the idea of sex, it's gonna be hard for you to even get your foot in the door. Part of selling this brand wise is connected to children, specifically little girls. If you pay close attention to the visual aspect of her brand, bright colors like pink mm. speaks to that younger audience. Something that's been an integral part of marketing her to that big demographic of young girls. On top of the visual aspect, we also have the personality aspect. I Spice appears as a very likable person. That was of course up until the recent story involving her friend Cleo Trappa, which we'll talk about in just a minute. An aspect please, a lot of people overlook coming across as being likable can get you where you want to go, whether it's attracting the right opportunities for your business, cultivating relationships of all kinds, or having certain unique experiences in life. It's one of the most effective ways to network with others. People like being surrounded by others who exude a sense of warmth and friendliness. This is directly correlated to persuasiveness. 
which is the quality of making like people I, 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 do what you want some shit. or believe in what you believe. On a personality level, Ice Spice okay. does project an bad. easygoing kind of vibe. Whether or not it's real, that's not the point, nor is it relevant. She's managed to convince millions of people all around the world that she is who she supposedly says she is. So on top of what we spoke on, she also has a very strong identity, which is one of the key factors to reach a high level in any industry. It communicates a very strong message to anyone who's brought into your world, and Ice Spice has created a world for herself. However, considering all the leverage she's built up in the industry throughout her short time in it, it is inevitable to say that Ice Spice has been on a losing streak. Something that's not only affecting how the general public views her, but it's also going to affect the marketing budget her record label allocates to her career. Aside from that, her public persona has also been taking a very strong hit. Of course, I'm gonna talk about this story. I'm sure you might have heard the current viral situation she's found herself in. Ice Spice's former friend and rapper, Cleo Trappa, recently came out and exposed Ice Spice for being a mean to person behind the scenes. This. this is the second person who's been close to Ice Spice that's came out exposing her in the recent months. In one of the stories she told, Cleo Trappa talked about the mistreatment she faced from Ice Spice on tour. I want my things to come out like she didn't really- no, I can't even listen to this again. Trunk. Can vacuum? Bags to not being allotted a separate dressing space while they were touring. Yeah, Hated her. Yeah. Now this is definitely connected to the fall off. Please check out the video level. if you missed it. I don't see how you missed it, but yeah, I got like two videos. Let's see if Ice Spice, if you will, because just a few months ago, one of her former friends, another one of her former friends actually came out with a similar or similar type of story. Her name is Baby Stormy. And personally, I don't know if I would consider her as very credible due to the nature of that particular expose. However, that aside, her reputation has definitely taken a hit. And this is related to something I spoke about, you know, just a minute ago, which is her public persona. Because part of the reason why Ice Spice managed to be so successful is due to how she's appeared to the world. A young, beautiful, but very sweet woman, well-mannered, aside from when she's, you know, shaking her ass, which is like, never. Ice Spice has benefited from what we call the halo effect, a cognitive bias where the overall impression of a person influences how other people feel and think about a person's specific traits. So for Ice Spice, she has the, you know, the visual package, which is, you know, the assets, i.e. very nice body and good facial features and a nice smile. She simply looks better than 99% of the women on earth, based on societal standards, of course because beauty is highly subjective. And depending on what culture you're in, your level of attractiveness will vary. Now, this is what they call the halo effect. It's considered the physical attractiveness stereotype in which what looks beautiful is seen as good. I mean, there's even studies on this. Attractive people in society are perceived to be smarter, funnier, and more likable than less attractive people. From personal experience, I can tell you that some of the most demonic people I've met have been some of the most good looking people on the outside. I'm sure you can relate to that. Ice Spice falls under this category perfectly, and that's why this recent story involving her friend coming out like this is just so damaging to her career. To be fair, her looking good is one of the only things that propelled her to this level. Let's just keep it real, right? This is like the nail in a coffin effect where one needle is moving the mountain in a whole nother direction. All those good qualities people automatically projected on her are slowly dissipating in the minds of the public. Ice Spice's entire image was built on not only sexuality, but being a, what they call, or what women call a girl's girl. Now, what exactly is that to all the men who don't know what the hell that is? Because I, I just found out what it is. This is a term that's used to describe a woman who celebrates her fellow women doesn't let jealousy get in the way of doing so, and she's honest and encouraging to her fellow women as well. Ice Spice has now lost that entire aspect of her brand due to this controversy. Also, Ice Spice just doesn't have the same type of um, freshness to her name anymore. People feel like they've experienced all that they can from her. Her music mm -hmm. has clearly taken a backseat as far as the conversations in relation to her name, especially with this particular story right here. And also, to be fair, she hasn't done herself a favor by putting sex at the forefront 24-7. Unfortunately, you know, the majority of uh, female rappers do that, but the ones that end up sticking are the talented ones, okay? The ones who show the world that they have more to offer than just their body. I'm talking about Snow the product. I'm talking about Bia. I'm talking about Dochi. I'm talking about Flo Millie, these are women who put their creativity at the forefront of everything they do. Now, as for Ice Spice, her body is more popular than her music. And it's always been like that. Whether it's the millions of young girls following her because they want to be like her, or whether it's the thirsty basement dwelling teenage boys who get turned on when they see her ass. Her cool. name is fueled by her willingness to lean on sex. And once the shape she got introduced to the game with starts to change, since uh, you know she lost a bunch of weight and people have accused her of using Ozempic for her, weight loss journey. Now that she's looking so different, what are they actually supporting? I mean, people were already not attached to our music and leaning too much on your looks, whether you're a man or a woman in any facet of life, is something that's very fleeting. As human beings, we can't run away from the inevitable process of aging. Mm -hmm. And that's why you gotta make sure people fall in love with who you are on an intrinsic level and not what you are. Leaning on the physical stuff gots to go, okay? Finito. Unfortunately for Ice Spice, since a big part of her popularity was fed by her good looks, that is her gimmick and she has to maintain it or else 
she'll fade away to each on his own but one thing's for sure people have lost interest in ice spice do i think she's fallen off well she's clearly not as hot as she used to be she's of course very young and has built an extremely lucrative brand for herself so even if the music doesn't pan out the way she wants it to i'm sure she'll be able to monetize her name by working with big brands and cashing in on the sponsorship money and this is an aspect of the music industry people seem to miss okay and this is very relevant to ice spice a lot of these so-called artists that are popping up now are nothing but glorified social media influencers who mm. happen to know how to sing into a microphone or rap into a microphone the goal for the music industry wasn't for ice spice career to have longevity the goal was to build her brand up to a level where it's lucrative enough and in that situation she won't be dependent on her album selling for her existence to make sense make sense but that's why ice spice is losing relevancy i'm sure she still has a couple solid years in the mainstream world of music left however the numbers prove that she's on a downward trajectory. Anyway, you made it this hard, which means I'm sure you enjoyed the video, so. Very well said. I agree with a lot of what he stated. I mean, I already said this before, but, you know, the, the main thing that people leaned on with, you know, supporting her was that, oh, she's cute and she minds her business. She's not problematic. She stays out the way, da, da, da. And now that that perception is changing, people are like, wait, She's actually not that likable. Wait, she's kind of funny looking. Actually, now that I look closer, <laughs> and oh, this music actually ain't even hitting like that. Girl, fuck out of here. You know, so I feel like that is why people are turning on her because you know the talent has never been at the forefront. So things are falling apart for her, which is wild. We'll, we'll see if she can turn it around. Anything's possible. Who knows? But y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.